Yes, people, so we have gone ahead and got ourselves one of the brand new Italian league icons. As you can tell from the title and thumbnail, it's not Adriano, it is not Ronaldinho, it is, in fact, Gan. So we're going to go ahead and do a nice little full match review on him today, as well as Stefan El Shawari. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and keep yourself locked in. Now, the team we are going to be using for this little match review of Mr. Gans is a 4-2-3-1. Diego Costa in goal. Ana Martinez, Militao, Delict, Davies, with Xabi Alonso and Davidson, DM. Ronaldinho not the brand new one in camp. I thought it'd be fun to use him anyway with the brand new El Shuari as our shadow striker on the right, Neymar on the left and Gans up top. Now let's have a nice little look at Mr. Mr. Gans himself and of course El Shuari as well. We have done just a pretty much bog standard upgrade on them. A few little tweaks here and there but he looks fantastic. He actually looks very, very good. I'm very excited to give him a little look indeed. We are using the Pumas kit as well because of the brand new stadium. Um, I tried to get him locked in as a shadow striker but sadly it gave us right wing forward Forward. So he doesn't normally have that proficiency, but here we are anyway. He's very good heading the ball. Um, I don't believe he's got first time shots. Maybe that he does have first time shot. That is good to see. Um, he's not really a skill type of player. He is just an absolute finisher and a bagsman. So I'm looking forward to see how good he can be. And he looks to be very, very quick as well. And I've also fully upgraded uh, El Shawawi to gives us two players today to have a little look into. He looks fantastic. Uh, brilliant dribbling. Um, his dribbling is fantastic. Speed's very good. Finishing is decent as well. And with El Shawawi, he is a trickster. So we're going to have a Great fun of him. Double touch, Marseille turn, sombrero, cut behind, soul control, long range curler, long range shooting, outside curler, and super sub. Maybe with him, we should try and get a couple skill trains on. We don't have any left, so we can't be doing that. But let's get right in some gameplay. Now, I am actually semi decent at this game, I would like to say, as we go into the eFootball League. You can see we are just on the cusp of getting up into Division 1, 1727 skill rating. I play on uh, the Xbox version of the game, not the PC or PS. So uh, my rank might be very, very high considering someone of this skill rating and like i said it's the xbox server so 1910th in the world currently a skill rating of 1727 um i'm looking straight to go into this game right away i want to test out this brand new gans i'm very excited uh, we're going to do it as a full sort of game uh, review if you like this video make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel as well um you can tell from the channel i'm brand new to making e-football content i'm not brand new to making content i make football manager content so if that's the sort of stuff you like that is going to be linked up there but if you're here for e-football content Make sure to stay locked and subscribe because I've got an addiction at the moment and uh, it's hampering the main channel because I'm so addicted to making eFootball content, but it's so fun to play and uh, I'm a massive fan of this game in general. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel because there'll be lots and lots of content coming. I think we've already got another three or four videos all scheduled already. Now we have got an opponent found. It is full star. That's absolutely fine for me. We'll see what we can get into. This guy is 3446 in the world, uh, 3078 in collective strength for just a tad higher than me, but we are going to be the highest team in the brand new Pumas kits, which is going to be very fun. And the reason on Pumas is because their stadium is newly licensed onto the game and the stadium itself is very, very cool. The Estadio Olimpico Universario. Uh, he has two left feet and he is at Santoso in Japan. So maybe his kits are going to be very nice and some to stay and look into. Uh, our kits will be going with the standard home kit, the white. And uh, with him, he has got some lovely kits in there. In fact, we're going to go with our dark kit. We're going to get him on the white kit to keep it nice and white and black. Very easy to tell the difference in terms of kits let's hope our new players are on a good form they're both fine to play which is good to see what is this guy's team looking like hoyland odegaard Komen, sane casimiro and hakan jelanolu nuno mendez marquinhos and costa quieta and julio cesar I don't know about you guys, but Costa Quarta is a joke. Now, we're going to have to play eight Nori at left back rather than Fonzie. Um, these two are fine. Anyone else here buzzing to play? I do want to test out this Ganso as well today. Um, I just literally got him before uh, last last night, before before going off uh, to little uh, Bedlehem. Um, but yeah, we uh, we need to test him out at some point as well. Um, I think that's the team vote. There's nothing really I want to change on that. This Fred is a joke. I'm a massive fan of him as well. Um, but I'm not going to make too many changes. I want to test out the new boys and get right into it. Right then, let's get right into things. He has got Pep Guardiola. We've got Jurgen Klopp as managers, or Luis Adraman and uh, Zaitler as the managers even. Um, right, so we, uh, it's my first game of the day and we've obviously got a couple of new players to test out. Uh, I like to say I'm quite a good like tiki-taka player. I like to keep possession of the ball quite a lot uh, and move the ball to pick nice and quick with indirect passing to the striker. So we're testing out how his passing is. Now his passing isn't very good, uh, Mr. Gans, but we'll have to see what we can get locked in with him. And this is my first time commentating the game as well, so 
<laughs> it might be that commentating and playing is difficult for me, but I'm sure I won't be speaking the whole time. I'm going to have to lock in at certain points, like right now already on the left-hand side. That's nicely defended, and we can hopefully get a ball up to him, hold it up, tap it back, and go. Nice, nice, nice. Nice little one-two there, I will say that. We'll go into his feet, the back, and hit it. Oh, Neely, that was a nice little bit of play there. His passing is only about 60-odd, but uh, that was a nice little one-two. Uh, nice and uh, nice and quick on it as well, which is good. He has got 92 acceleration, but he has got a boost as well, which gets him up. Uh, we're going to get him in the six-yard box and call too short. Hopefully, that brings his players out, which it has. And then we can go for something nice. Oh, we got him. We're on it, and it's off the line. I'm tempted to hit that, but I'm not going to. Yeah, offside. Offside for Ronaldinho. I was very tempted to hit that out from the corner, but I, I find if I do that, I always end up losing possession. I always go for a special shot, standing shot from there even. And I, I lose possession and I get countered like an absolute, you know, you know what. Right, the lick not one in the header. That's fine. This guy's playing a standard 4-2-3-1, which is something you see a lot, to be honest. So, ooh. let's get El Shuari on the game. Just send him down the line. Look at Gans. He's there. Obviously, he's very quick. Awful first touch, apparently, though. Um, he is very quick. So, we're only looking to use him in behind. But that is a shocking first touch. We'll say that right away. Um, there's not anything I'm going to change, to be honest. I don't know why he's paused it, but he has. Oh, he's back straight away. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Right. Well done, Ed Air. Little twos. Nice. And he's gone because he's very quick. Little dinking back. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. He is quick. I'm liking his speed so far on Mr. Gans, for sure. Nice little hold up there from Hoyland. Uh, javelonzo has got lost. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I know Martinez is fantastic as well. We can also play centre-back, which is very, very good. Um, right, let's hold it up and see if we can get a little bit past him. His dribbling is not it. But again, not to be, not to be expected. He is there. We need to try and just bounce off him, really. Get the ball into his feet. Bounce off him with a 1-2. And uh, try and get him in behind, because that is what he's going to be there for. He's an absolute bagsman with pure pace. But link-up play isn't his forte, which is fine. Well, in hold-up play even. I mean, that's not even a good pass. That's shocking for me. Cold Palmer does find a ball out to Alfonso Davies. We can get a nice little bit of press on him. Yeah, nice. Cancel that and we'll bring it down. And we'll drive all around the line. We've got a nice little short option. Into him. El Shawari now. What can we see from you, son? Little, nice little double touch. And a great ball to Dino as well. He has got a head in on him as well. But it's going to go to Neymar. And he's not quite going to get it in. Unlucky there. Nice challenge from Gans. Nice little bit of play. Neymar de Cito. And that is why I wasn't that fussed about getting Ronaldinho. Because my Dino is fantastic. We have got a 99 overall from his time over at Barcelona. Um, I hope the commentary isn't too loud as well. I will just drop it down a little bit. Bear in mind that it might be a little bit loud. So I'll just drop it down to say that-ish. Obviously, this is the first time as well. Oh, he's out already. Now that we can't have that as it, can we? I mean, that's a bit of a joke. He's quit in 20 minutes. We'll have to do another game. The the plan was to do one game, but I mean, fair enough. He's gone, and that's five wins in a row, which is lovely. We are making nice little strides here to Division One. Um, I'm not going to mug you guys off. We're going to go into another game. Right, we have got an opponent. Who is it going to be? Ranking 14,000th in the world, but with a better collective ranking. Obviously, anyone really in Division Three and above is a decent player at this game. So we'll have to see what we can do against him. El Shawari is right up for this one. Enemy Tower, however, not at all. Fonzie's up for it, though, which is good. That is it, really. I want to see his team. He's playing an asymmetric 4 2 3 1. And Rodrigo de Paul, Declan Rice, Neymar, Salah, Mbappe, and Haaland. Jacques Cancelo, Van Dijk, uh, Sommer, Bastoni, and Theo Hernandez as his back line as well. Um, but I think we can beat him. I think we can beat him. No one's really on form and busting to get into this team. So it is going to be pretty much the same as last time. But Van Disney at the back with the Ligt rather than Edmund Atal. Um, but let's see what we can do in this one. Righty then. Let's get into things. Again, against the Pep Guardiola. Uh, can Klopp get another victory? I'll tell you what, for a couple of victories here, we can take ourselves into the top 1500. We are absolutely cooking. Now, there is going to be some gameplay videos coming up on the channel. Uh, we've got a couple scheduled over the next week. Um, when I was, you know, down... Oh, my God. It's early. It's early. Oh, it's an early goal, but it's fantastic. We have got a few videos coming out on the channel, gameplay-wise, from about last week. I uh, I was I've, I've played at a 520th level before. Um, well, I've got 500, 520th in terms of skill rating once. Um, 
in terms of overall finish once. But um, that was about a year and a half ago. Didn't touch the game for a very long time. And in the last couple of weeks, I've got back into it. So gameplay is improving every single time we play pretty much. Especially, um, you know, recently we've been doing very, very well. Although that, well done Van Dyke. I find my thing at the moment, though, is uh, finishing. I, um, I'm very good at, you know, creating the chances. Oh, God. But uh, making silly mistakes like that is what kills me. We've got very lucky there. But yeah, I make a lot of silly mistakes. I'm still sort of getting used to the mechanics of the game. And uh, yeah, I, I tend to do a lot of silly stuff sometimes. But uh, yeah, it's the, the finishing one-on-one -on -one as well, which um, yeah, I'm still trying to master. Right, let's see if we can get him going with the speed. We're going to try and find him all to El Shuaira, which ain't going to work. Let's try and defend Mbappe. Yeah, he's got a nice little ball inside, which is nice. Salah. Diego Costa gets down well. This Costa's decent. I did have Raya in goal, and he was absolutely shocking. So it's good to see this Costa coming up clutch there. Um, but already this game does seem a lot more difficult. Obviously a very early goal, but that's not really anything to go off. Van Dijk, if you can get that at your feet. And now we can send El Shawari through. Gets it into Dino, back into El Sha. Ooh, poor touch from Shawari. I'm expecting a lot better things from him, to be honest, because his dribbling and his uh, ball control is very high. So it's a bit annoying that he's not mastering things just yet. But maybe he'll take a minute to get into it. We are struggling to get out of this thing, though, at the moment with this guy. You can see... He's, uh, we're making a lot of silly passing mistakes. But we can get him. We can get him. Edgar, find it. Find it. Oh, I've tried to go for a nice stunning pass over the top. But it's not quite worked out. And Mbappe now on the left-hand side is causing us some issues. With Teo Hernandez. That is a very nice uh, left-hand side for him. He's off ref. He's not. But it's all good. Oh, now it's there. Nice little ball into Jabby Lonzo. Nice little ball into Edgar Davids. And now we can counter. And now we can counter. Hold it up. Hold it up. And send it. Good touch. Oh, I nearly got through him. But it's currently being dominated in this one. So uh, we'll have to just relax a little bit. Play a little bit of football. Get it into his feet. Set it. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Ooh. I'm looking forward to getting him in behind. I want to see what his finishing's like. That's really what I'm going to judge him off. Um, it, I've been quite impressed with his link-up play. He's only got 60 odd passing so far. I mean, that's a great ball. Again, Dini have a fantastic touch. Oh, nearly got him back on the inside, but Dino was cooking there. A good ball there from Gans. Better than I was expecting. And like I said, his passing for me has impressed me so far. Elsha. Gans, touch, ref. Okay. I thought that was going to be a, a, a goal there. It was a good little touch round him. We got, obviously, tackled by Bastoni, but the uh, the touch out of his man there was good. Yeah, I liked that. That's a nice little touch. We had a, we had pretty, a lot of space to go into because his side there was a little bit open. Um, I'm not bad at free kicks, but I'm not great. Let's see if we can get a little bit of power up and down. Oh, one side jumped, one side didn't. Nearly got there. Can Neymar get on the inception? Not quite. Edgar Davids now. Track out to the left. That's annoying, that is. That was a close free kick. I feel like he stopped us with a goal. Oh, go on, Dino. He's done well there. Little ball back in. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll make an option with Elsha and we'll dart down the line. Little ball in there and tap it back. Nice. And reset. Oh! Into him. Hit it. Oh, I tell you what. That was a nice bit of movement, that. That was a nice bit of movement. Obviously, just wide. But that was a nice little bit of movement. He held off his man well. Which, watch it. Oh, we can't watch it again, sadly. But he held off his man well, which is good to see. He's clearly quite strong, which is nice. And uh, got away. Nice bit of speed. His acceleration is 94 of his boost currently. So, uh, it's nice to see him moving nice and sharp. Oof. That's not good, mate. Ooh, that's not good, though, is it? Van Dyke, can you get on it? You can't, but we're going to manage to get a little push over. So he's not going to be able to finish it. Can El Shawari win that one? He can. Oh, but Dino come too close, so it's mugged us off. It's okay, we'll read that. Through that gap. Nice. Dino. Elsha. Elsha's not giving me good vibes at the moment. That's okay. First real game with him. It would just take a little bit of time to get used to him. Again, that was meant for Dino. You see the mistakes I'm talking about? I make a lot of them. Oh, I need to get that through. Because now look. Now look. It's all good. We got lucky there. Nice. Hit it. Oh, I tried to go for a first time hit. He has got first time shot. So that was probably going to be a goal. Game gets straight into him now. We can. Dribbling's quite good, to be fair. I'm impressed by his dribbling, given what he is. As in, like, you know, a bit of a, an in-behind demon with a good finishing. His dribbling is quite good, which is nice to see. We can play a couple of different ways of him rather than just having to get him in behind. Oh, God. 
Little one in there. Right. Edgar. Drive of it. Drive of it into his feet now. Let him turn his man. Oh, Neely. Okay. Close, but no cigar. Make sure he can't get the ball out wide. Well done, Edgar. Well covered off. My favourite player in this game has to be Edgar Davids. He is fantastic. Nice little girl in the corner. And now his speed is showing. Now his speed is showing. Get him on that foot. Oh, that's a good save from his keeper there. Oh, I'm liking him so far. I am liking him a lot. If you do want to see a um, Adriano review, make sure to smash the likes on the video. If we can, if we can hit a thousand views on this video, I'll make sure to do it. But I need to see some serious love before we, before we commit to that. Let's do this then. Oh, that wasn't too bad. That. You know, given the options we had, we'll cancel that. So we'll go again with our nice little, um, what was it? Two options, but get the six-yard dash as well. And then the two options. And hopefully we can get a little gap to try and drop it into. Oh, he's got up there for the header as well, Gans. Impressive that. Impressive that he got the header on that. He has got a nice little head and boost on him. So it's good to see that he can do it. Obviously, he's no Haaland in the air because he is a joke. But the counter-attack from a corner always seems to be difficult to defend. But Fonzie's done well. And that'll be the half ref. Or will it? Or will it? Or will it? Ah, oh, it will. Decent half football. Two minutes in. An early goal from Neymar from the kickoff. A very nice goal as well, in fact. But that is going to be the first half done. It's been quite a difficult game, to be fair. We are just about ahead on possession, which surprises me. Because this guy seems to be all over me. But uh, not quite managing to get the final bits done. And it is 1-0 to the Kempi Army against Barcelona. Nice and quick, which we love to see. I like it when people work quick on this game. A lot of people, you know, like to use all their time. I like to get right into things and get some serious gameplay going. But again, we've got to remember, we are also playing here in a very high ooh, elo and division. That's a good ball into Neymar. We're going to test out his heading with this one. See what he can do. Can he beat Bastoni? I tell you what, he managed to get a bit of competition there. Better than Batistuta in the air, I think. Uh, Neymar doesn't want the ball, apparently. I think he might be better than Gabriel Batistuta in the air, which is surprising. But also, you know, he has got a nice little head and boost. He should have played that ball out wide right, but that's fine by me. Let's test Neymar, uh, Elsha. Let's get his little boy Gans running. Not quite coming back for the ball. Spins his man, hit it. That was, a, that was a great shot. And it is going to be El Shabari which gets the goal in. Uh, El Shabari's not impressed me so far, but he's there in the right moment at the right time. But a great turn and shot from Gans there again, which is good to see. I'm very impressed so far by his dribbling. Very, very impressed by his dribbling. Um, yeah, I mean, a little bit lucky there, but that turn past Bastoni, drop of the shoulder, gets a nice shot away. Uh, it was a good shot as well. And he's there in the interception straight away here as well. Can we see if we can get a nice little solo run with him? He hasn't got any sort of skills or anything. Let's get a long time shot of him. Oh, it was going top bins. It's a great effort from him. Set it down to him and volley it in. Oh, it's another good save. Dino's there. And it, oh, it's not free. to the post. How have we not scored there, Jeff? That was lovely play. Oh, he's rinsed me. He's absolutely rinsed me. Watch the cutback. Edgar Davids, mate. He's too good. He is him. Nice double touch around him. Ball into Neymar. And then send it wide. Xabi Alonso there. The power shot. Ooh. We are, we're starting to play some nice football now. Now we've got that two goal cushion. The nerves have gone. There is no need to panic. Good header from R now. El shot. Oh, I thought he was onside then. Wowzers. I thought he was gone. Oh, he's so close. Bit of El shot magic. But it's good for El Shorai to be there because some players they're attacking AI don't get there. But obviously with his offensive awareness, he has got in that position to score the goal. At the end of the day, that's what he's there to be there for. Neymar spins him very well. Fine Gans in his feet. Oh, trying to tap it past him, but not quite. Oh, good challenge there, Delict. Good challenge there, Ref. Disgusting. Fizz it straight in. I wonder if he's better as the uh, oh, oh I wonder if he's better as the left hand striker rather than the middle one. We'll uh, we'll make a change here. We'll bring on Batistuta down the middle. Ooh. We'll bring off Bat. We'll, uh, we'll get off. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, we'll do that. We'll see if Gans can come in and do it at the left handed role. Maybe he uses his pace a bit more rather than the middle striker. 
Ref. I tell you what, I am a big fan though so far. I feel like he's been a very good addition to the team. Already, just his, his sort of hold up and link up play seems very good. We'll, uh, we'll get Gabby on. 12 shots to this guy's two. We'll get Gabby Batistuta on for Neymar and get Gans out there. What's his stamina like? 87 as well, so he's a runner. We look at 96 acceleration, 94 for awareness, 91 finishing. I'm liking him. And uh, we'll get Ganso on as well. We'll get him on for Dino. Just because I want to test him and I want to keep El Shuari on the pitch as well. They will be the subs for now. Not used Ganso yet either, so I'm excited to see what he can do. A little bit nervous, but excited. We'll fizz this straight into him. See if he can get in there in front. Not quite, okay. A little bit of a mistake from me there, but it's fine. We'll defend it. We'll defend it. We'll defend it. We'll defend it. No, we won't. Salah's gone. We won't defend it. We will. Oh, Fonzie, what are you doing? Nice. Makes up for it. And gets a ball into Javi Lonzo, who can then turn off his man, and he can spin. Rare. It's disgusting again. We are doing well against this guy, but not giving him much to sort of feed off, not much to work on. We are doing very well. Let's visit right into Mr. Gans again. Oh, he's there to read it. He's there to read it. Can we get a challenge on? We can. Good defending from Arnau. Good defending. Gabby Stuter. Ganso, not the man with speed, but he does find the man with speed. It is Mr. Gans with a one-on-one, -on -one, his first of the game. Taking it on the wrong foot. Bad shooter. Gans finally gets it home. Take it on the wrong foot. Maybe uh, it might be my fault. You might think he's right foot, but he's left. But eventually he's there. And we saw in the uh, promo video a bicycle kick from him. And that was a nice little bit of an acrobatic finish as well, which is good to see. So we've got him and El Shuari on the score sheet in this game. Can we keep a clean sheet as well? I'm going to try my best to do it. But it seems like apparently we're going to try and bottle it as well. Nice pop to Elsha. Touch and spin. Oh, he's read it. He's read the spin. But Davids is there. Watch it. Watch it back. Watch it back. Nice to licked. Watch the hit. Nice. Well defended, boys. Well defended. 77 in. We are keeping a clean sheet. I'm going to test this head in. We'll send it right up to him as this is a Gans test. We might as well give him the full test. Look at that. Lovely flick on from him. I tell you what, he might be the man out on left. Again, that AI, like I said, about Shawari for him to be in the right position at the right time. He has got, was it 91 offensive awareness, I think it was. So, you know, that is what he's there for. He's a bagsman and he showed. Obviously, the one-on-one -on -one a little bit disappointing, but I would say probably my fault. I imagine he's right -footed, uh, left footed. I thought he was right, so maybe we switch it to the other side so he cuts in and gets that far post shot from there instead. Good defending there from Elsha. Get a nice little fake shot on it so he can take in the right way. And Fonzie can down the line and Elsha is there as well. We'll get him down the line. We show his pace up. That is horrendous. That is a horrendous pass. I think that's actually Gans in the middle as well, so we weren't going to show off any pace, let's be honest. Good on, Jabby. Find Gans in the middle then. Let's see what he can do. Tricky little Brazilian. Nice little, well, very slow double touch around him there. Maybe it was the wrong way. You might not have it. Watch that Maradona down the line. Well done, Davies. Get it into him. Hold up. Nice little setback. Oh, good challenge there from Van Disney. But we have got Javelonzo there. Cancel that off. Try and slip him behind again. Ooh, that's a good ball, that. It's a right phone. Oh, now was there. Where is Elsha? He needs to come short. He needs to come short there. Oh, that's a good ball. That's a great ball. In fact, Delict is there of a great challenge. For me, Delict, the best centre back on the game. Send him. Send him. Let me show his pace. Let's show his pace off. Let's show his pace off. Oh, I'll tell you what. Van Dyke's done very well there. Oh, he's not exactly burst away from Van Dyke, but that's okay. Fonzie, that's a ball. Can he get on the end of it? Pressure. Oh, nearly the pressure on the keeper. He's going to end up with a booking. Love it. A little bit of passion to the Italian spirit from Mr. Gans. That's fine by me. I'm impressed, though. I like him a lot. I think his finishing seems quite good. His uh, link-up play for what his passing says seems very good. Uh, his dribbling's decent. His first touch isn't fantastic. His heading seems brilliant. Come on, clean sheet, clean sheet, clean sheet. No clean sheet. But it is a 3-1 victory, and we can take that one on the chin. Can we get one more little one more little thing with him? Let's try and get him out wide here and see if we can get a bit of magic. 
Not quite. Not quite. But that's game. A 3-1 victory and a rage quit to start things off as well. Two nice little games there with Mr. Gans. Overall, I think Gans is very good. I think his heading is a massive uh, pro. I think his finishing, I think it was my fault with that one-on-one. -on -one, but eventually, that acrobatic finish, his offensive awareness is fantastic. And his link-up play, he's even got a little bit of a nay-nay in him. His link-up play seems fantastic as well. It's just maybe his first touch and dribbling is a little bit off. But as that left-handed striker, I think he's better than down the middle. And El Shawari, I would say I need to play a lot more games with him to really test out how he is. But he seems to be quite decent as well quite good on the ball very good movement obviously a very tricky little player and again offensive awareness to get in there for the rebound is fantastic thank you for watching the review on gans and el shawari make sure you subscribe to the channel and i'll speak to you next time